Hey, ready for lunch? Oh, one sec. Is that the prototype drive system for the High G Rover? No, Bernadette got me a Fitbit so she can track how much I'm exercising. <laughs> That'll teach her to care about your health. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see the look on her face when I die young. <laughs> When was the last actual exercise you got? The other day when she tried to put that Fitbit on me and I ran away from her. <laughs> According to a recent study, simply thinking about exercise, even while sitting still, can have physical benefits. For all you know, I could be exercising right now. Are you? Nah, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Wouldn't be the worst thing if we were more active. You make an excellent point. <laughs> I'm getting a runner's high. <laughs> I don't understand why we're leaving so early for the movie. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're going to meet up with Bernadette to spy on Amy and her date. What? I want to do that. But, and you think I want to see a documentary about aluminum can recycling? <laughs> this is the movie that Big Soda doesn't want you to see. No, it's the movie your wife doesn't want you to see. <laughs> so you're actually okay with invading your friend's privacy? You're not curious who she's out with? Well, not really. But you're curious about aluminum cans. <laughs> you're a weird little guy. Why isn't it ever Angie Dickinson's bedroom? <laughs> you're back. It, it doesn't seem like it's up to me. <laughs> I suppose you're here because I've decided to be physical with my girlfriend, and I've never done that before. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> oh, it's worth a shot. <laughs> So, can you help me? Uh, all right. Um, once, once the man gets the the woman out of her out of her bloomers. No, no. Not that. I, I understand the mechanics. Oh, good, good. Because I, I have no idea what kids these days are calling their their parts. <laughs> I think they say junk. What is happening to this world? <laughs> what, what do you actually need to know? This is an important night for us, and I'm worried I might be overwhelmed and ruin everything. Sheldon, if, if you're with the right person, it, it'll be okay. Thank you, Arthur. You are the wisest of the wise. Well, that's, that's very nice of you to say, but I think I'm just an expression of, of your unconscious mind. Oh, sure. Well, you're fun to look at. <laughs> so, you really gonna break up with her? Yeah, I think so. Do you have any advice? Well, I have broken up with my fair share of guys. I mean, how many times did I break up with Leonard? I stopped counting at four. <laughs> right, my advice to you is do it at her place. You can leave when you need to. Uh, tell the truth, make it quick, and be prepared for tears. Oh, I'm going to do a pre-cry before I go in there, really dry myself out. <laughs> she meant Emily. No, I, I really didn't. <laughs> You're seriously breaking up with me? Yeah. And you thought right before Valentine's Day was a good time to do it. You're right. Let's talk again in a few days. <laughs> hey, Claire. Hi, it's, it's Rajesh. I was, I was wondering if you're free for Valentine's Day. Sorry, I just got back with my boyfriend. But I just broke up with my girlfriend. Right before Valentine's Day? <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> Please take me back. Love was meant to be. <laughs> I'm gonna be all alone on Valentine's Day. <laughs> mm, you were right, tears. <laughs> well, 
What if we go around the university and just get the patent ourselves? We can't. It says on their website, as long as we work there, they have a controlling ownership of anything we come up with. Great. So they own my idea for a t-shirt that says, dumb as a bag of geologists. <laughs> well, our choices are we do this with the university or we don't do it at all. Either way, I get nothing. Or if we end up making money from this, Sheldon and I could split our shares with you. To be clear, Lynn is referring to the gyroscope, not the t-shirt and mugs. <laughs> oh, now they own the mugs. <laughs> I guess that is a way around this. You guys would be cool doing it like that? Of course. We could split any profits three ways. I'm fine with that. Okay, great. It sounds like a uh, contract might be in order. <laughs> Sure, we could write something up. But which one of us should be the party? You can do it, Sheldon. So stipulated! <laughs> Once I found a stash of contracts under his bed, it was weird. <laughs> hey, did I say something to upset you? No, I'm fine. Really? Because usually we walk side by side and I just went up two flights of stairs staring at your bottom. <laughs> just drop it. Okay, I, I think I see what's happening here. You're jealous of me. Oh, please. What could you possibly have that I would be jealous of? It's not what I have, it's how many people I'm having it with. <laughs> Come on, Sheldon, we'll watch Game of Thrones over here. Gladly. Oh, good, go. You know, it'll be nice to watch an episode without someone saying, I read the books, don't get too fond of this character. <laughs> it's not always because they die. In one case, it's because they've become involved with underground tree people from the dawn of time. Yeah, but I won't say who it is. It's Bran. <laughs> Wait, what is going on? Leonard's being a jerk, so we're gonna watch over here. Do you guys wanna watch with us? As long as I don't have to watch with him. Fine, I don't want to watch with you either. I'll go over here. Why do you get to pick? Okay, then you go there. Well, don't tell me where to go. <laughs> Howard, just come in here. Yeah, come on, Raj. Wait, did Amy make a spinach dip? She did. And I'm going to eat it all! <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's the Air Force. <laughs> Should I respond to their email? Ignore it? You can't ignore it. It's not that postcard that says it's time to go back to the dentist. Guys, come on, we're meeting everyone for dinner. One sec. I'm just afraid if I respond, then they'll know I got it. Dude, the minute you open that email, they knew you got it. I mean, they're probably looking at you through the camera right now. I love America. 